So how do you do? So for Halloween, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. And last year, we did a Pumpkin Hill rap. So this year, I thought, why don't we just actually play Pumpkin Hill? It's, it is Halloween. I've dressed up as Kakashi. I don't know if you can see the headband. There is a glare on the top part, but that's the hidden leaf headband. I have the mask and everything. So we're going to go into this, of course. Now, I don't know how it's going to sound both wearing this mask and trying to talk into this microphone. But we're going to see how that goes. Um, that would definitely be interesting. I'm also playing on a keyboard, so I don't even have a controller. So you're going to have to forgive me about how the controls are going to be. They're probably going to be, uh, I don't know. I tried turning on the game volume and then leaving my volume the same, so I might also talk too loud because for me, the game is at a pretty decent volume, but I, I don't know how that's going to translate in like editing and recording and then uploading, so that's going to be a thing. But yeah, happy Halloween, and uh, here we go. What I'm going to do is play through all five of the Pumpkin Hill stages. The first one, of course, being just the regular one with the RNG where the emerald pieces are. Collect 100 rings find the lost chow, the time attack, and then the hard mode. And I actually, I personally actually like Knuckles' levels in Sonic Adventure 2. I know some people know me as like the guy that just likes Sonic Adventure. I'm like the nostalgic blind, whatever, but I still like the game, physically like playing the game, which is part of why I wanted to play it for, you know, this day as well. Because I'm not, I wouldn't really argue it is nostalgia. Like I, I like the game currently as it is, so I don't really, See that as a good argument against me, but I do understand why some people would have issues with the game. So I'm not gonna say that they're wrong either if they're people that are like, I don't like the game anymore or whatever. I think that's totally fine. Just I think people should be allowed to still like what they like, even if it is nostalgia, right? Like, nostalgia I think is not a counter argument to liking something, unless it's like using nostalgia to be completely blind to something that's like problematic. Then I can totally understand that, but if you like something like this and there's nothing problematic about it, um, I think nostalgia is fine, right? If a game was not all that great and yet it still left you great memories, I think that's actually good. But you know, to each their own is also what I'm saying. You, It depends what you kind of want out of a game, which is part of why I wanted to play this game and kind of highlight that, right? Like for a Sonic game, this game, this game kind of gave me everything I wanted out of a Sonic game. So that's part of why I hold it so highly. Um, it's not really nostalgia, I guess is what I'm saying. But at the same time, if it is nostalgia for some people, I think that's fine. And I also think if people don't like it, that's fine too. I think like Knuckles' stages, which we're doing, they can be very confusing. One of the things about Knuckles' stages though, is that they are based on a certain layout. And if you learn that layout, it does make his levels a lot easier to kind of just speed around and get through very quickly. I think at least. Part of why I had the A ranks going into this is that if you learn the layout, you can get around you know, the layout pretty consistently. Things are a lot, these levels are like a lot easier to do. Again, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, so you're bad, you just hate the game because you're like bad at that or something like that. I think that's totally fine. If you don't have that time to invest, if you don't care that much, it's your energy, it's your life, you should be allowed to do what you wanna do. But I kinda, I guess, wanted to talk about that briefly the concept of if you like a game and it's not liked by other people, and it's like I said, it's not for something like problematic or like like actually just bad or something like that. Like bad as in like that is actually like questionable in the world. Um, I think oh that's big the cat. Look, there's big the cat in there. Hello, froggy. Um, I think that's totally fine then, right? Like you, your tastes aren't gonna always align with the popular taste, and your tastes don't have to align with the popular taste. Um, you can enjoy what you enjoy, and you can enjoy it for as long as you want to enjoy it. And I think that is something that is completely fine. Um, I know I got a little sidetracked. I was saying Knuckles' levels, though, are spaced out in three sections, usually. This one has the uh, Ghost Train Mountain here, Pumpkin Hill over there, and then the Ghost uh, Church ghost church Mountain, I believe it's called, over there. And the pieces are usually spread out amongst the different sections. They're usually not in the same location multiple times. So once you go past the section, you can probably safely be like, okay, it's time to go to a new section, kind of a thing. Let's see, it was red briefly. Where would it have been red at? Down here? Probably, right in the middle of all that. Nope, actually not. Okay. It's not over here either, huh? It was red up the mountain, and then like it, it wasn't. Oh, wait, it's probably between those skulls. That's another thing. Once you learn locations, they kind of are, all, are in certain locations you can kind of predict as well. So there's that too. So let's see what rank we got, of course, before I continue on. Yeah, 
See, yeah, so, so like, here's an example. For me, I like Knuckles' levels. I'm good at Knuckles' levels. So some people say Sonic Adventure 2 was only like 33% a good Sonic game, and uh, that was only for Shadow and Sonic's levels. For me, because I like these levels too, I can't agree with that. But I'm not going to sit here and say if you feel that way, honestly, because what you're looking for in a Sonic game is like speed and stuff, that's you're wrong too. I feel like you can have that opinion, but just let me have my opinion too. And that's part of what I wanted to talk about, I guess, when I played this game too. There's like a, some discourse. Uh, about if people like like it's not just disagreeing it's not allowing other people to have their other opinion too that usually bothers me when it comes to talking about this game actually like i'm not going to sit here and tell people that they can't like shadow because they think he's super edgy or something right like if you don't like shadow that's your business but then if someone does like shadow kind of let them like shadow i guess is what i'm saying i was going to go over some tips and tricks about this level too basically what you saw me do is i started down there went to the right path and then immediately uh went up the rocket and then got a bunch of rings just off of those balloons. I'm gonna go back and grab these rings too, because they're kind of scarce. And then you can go back over here to the left side, grab the rocket up here, and there's some rings up here that you can grab as well. Yeah, get out of here, ghost. Ghost. However you want to pronounce that. Spooky. Oh, there's more ghosts. They, they, they spawn. I don't like that. I guess I'm at a graveyard, though. If there's one place they were gonna spawn here, it was gonna be here, of course, but. I don't have like a lot of tips and tricks. I will say just always be looking out for these balloons because they're usually full with like a lot of rings, right? Like I got a lot of rings now in about a minute's time. Um, these balance beams also have rings that are kind of a little bit, you know, like, oh, don't fall, Knuckles. That was Rouge's thing in the cutscene, not yours. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Cool, all right, so now we have like suddenly like, oh no, we're gonna die. No, we're not, no, we're not, no, we're not. Thing about this level too is that if you fall, you will actually bounce once before you fall to your doom. They do like do that, which is kind of nice. I like that actually personally. Um, there's a ring box like over here somewhere, isn't there? It's somewhere. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, you can go over here, head towards Pumpkin Hill, and then there should be there it is. Okay, so there's a ring box immediately up like this, and then what you can do to basically close this level out fast is like just jump up to the top of Pumpkin like Mountain. There's like a lot of rings usually on these top two levels. They're kind of spread out. You got to run for them. But like in terms of a time attack. Oh, wow. Well, there we go. There, There's a ring right there. There we go. See? So, and then the final rings can be dug down here. And then boom. I found them. That one's probably usually the hardest and most difficult. And like Knuckles and Rouge's levels because they're spread out. We got an A rank, of course, because we're like literally the world's best Sonic Adventure 2 Knuckles A rank specific player. That's a very specific title. That's why I can claim that title because no one's probably going to contest me on it. <laughs> unfortunate as it is uh but yeah so p find the rings can be kind of hard you kind of want to use those balance beams like they're kind of like you don't want to get them because like it's just four and it's really hard to balance on that or whatever but if you do get them you get some ring boxes and stuff and you can be on your way now for the third level it's find the lost chow the chow is the chow garden there's always a lost one in the third stages usually there's a trick for this one though you kind of need there's a level up item you could use called the mystic melody to get to the top of pumpkin mountain and then play the thing, and I'll show you guys that. I'll probably run through that in a second, but let me show you a trick. Go to the left path, go to Church Mountain, go to the top, take the rocket, actually, way above the mountain, and the Lost Child's over there. So then immediately glide when the rocket, like, drops you off, and you'll be able to usually make it to this platform, attach to it, and then the Lost Child is, like, way back there. I'll show you the other method, too, though, in case you don't want to do that, or, like, you have a bad time gliding and landing it. But there, there's the Lost Child, the location of it. A rank, of course, because like I just said, we're the ultimate Knuckles A rank SA2 player. There we go. I wonder if someone would contest me on that title and be like, yeah, actually, actually, I want to I want to contest you with that. And it's like, all right, I don't know how we're going to do it, like a time attack race or something. I don't know, but sure. Now, the fourth one's usually a time attack, and it's usually a quick time attack. So it's like really testing your knowledge of both the layout of the level and then how fast you can go like, about getting across the stage, finding those beeps, getting those pieces in three minutes. You want to talk about speed running, uh, here's where it starts. That was actually very quick. That level, this level is forgiving to me. I think because I don't badmouth it and badmouth Knuckles' levels, they somehow give me like really great RNG and I'm just like, yes, thank you. Look, I'll, I'll make you a pie for just how, just how incredibly kind. Wow, really? I'm not complaining, but I, uh, that's actually really interesting. I don't know. Is it in the robot? Is it in the robot? Get in the robot. No. Nope. Okay, we don't have to get in the robot. Oh, no. Wait. I got to shoot a missile from somewhere, though. How about right here? Cool. So I get, like, the best RNG possible? 
I don't know. I, I, I was going to give tips and tricks. The tips and tricks I can really give those, like, again, learn the level layout, and you'll probably have, like, a grand time. Apparently, I'm just also going to just get a lot of good RNG. So that's not something that can really be uh, replicated. But, oh, man, really? Three for three, huh? Is it on the train? It's on the train. Okay, so I got to wait at the station. When it's here... You gotta wait for the train to come around and then like try and jump on the back platform. The front of the train will hurt you, so you gotta hang back a little bit, but the back of the train won't. So you can just jump on the back like that and be totally fine. <laughs> that was a bit better than I was thinking it was gonna be. So I was okay. A rank, I already know it. I'm calling it, of course. Yeah, this is perfect. Uh, for the hard mode, the emerald pieces are always in the exact same spot no matter how many times you play the level. Like, for the time attack and then for the first one, it's always RNG. They're in the same kind of general, like, areas is why people can speedrun the game. And, like, if they learn the layout and learn those specific locations, they can be just fine despite the RNG. Like, it doesn't, like, mess them over. For hard mode, it will always be in the same place. But the level is significantly harder. There's a lot more robots, there's a lot more almost, like, insta-deaths kind of a thing. And so... That's what we're about to wade into, and I'm going to show you the locations, actually, of all the pieces, so here we go. But you can't fight him, of course. No, nope. I'm just going to mass drive here. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Can I get him? No, I can't, because I'm bad. I'm horrible. I have no skill. I'm, I'm, oh, jeez. Jeez, there's a tank right there, too. And there's no balloons. Uh-oh. How unfortunate. Uh oh, I'm gonna show you where these pieces are, but I'm kind of also fighting for my life right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, t I'm gonna have to call y'all back in a second. How about that? Go immediately. I feel like I should re. Oh jeez. You know what? I am gonna restart. I'm gonna restart because I feel like I've been all over the place and not really guiding people. So let's try that again. So, barring we don't die. Okay, we didn't die. You can start by going to the right. Actually, that's where the first beep is gonna be. I'm gonna dig to just get rid of this guy. Just spam the, the drill. The drill dive is what it's called. Uh, it's under the beginning platform right here. So like when it's beeping, as you can see, there's kind of some spikes around there. You want to attach to this wall, and then the camera won't turn necessarily, but you want to glide out to there. Let's see if I can angle it a bit better. Yeah. So there's the first piece. It's kind of hard to get, but you don't want to jump. You don't want to jump, I should say, immediately near like the top. What you kind of want to do... Let's see if I can bait this robot this time. There you are, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Um, don't jump when you try and glide for that first one. Like, at the very top and, like, hit your head. It will kill your momentum. You want a little distance between you and the top. For this one, you want to come to the very top of Church Mountain. You'll need the sunglasses level up. Uh-oh, that's not the right button. To get the spring, and then you want to glide out. That's the only way you're going to have enough height to reach that, that piece right there, which is the last piece. The middle piece, you need to go to the bottom of Pumpkin Mountain, actually. It's over here, where this, like, beetle robot is. You, or, I guess it's a beetle. I forget the names of the robot specifically, but it's a gun robot. You gotta beat that robot first, then you gotta punch the back of these skulls. That's how you stop the flames. Because then you gotta get on the wall and dig into it. And then that's where the three pieces of the emerald pieces, they're always in those same three spaces for the hard mode. It's already A rank. You know what's up. You already know what's up. This is perfect. What can I tell you? Like, we already knew it was gonna be that way. We already knew it was gonna be that way. Funny enough, Shadow also has Pumpkin Hill levels, by the way. His, his day, he kind of has, like, Pumpkin Hill daytime a little bit. So, you know, there's that, too. So that's all the levels of Pumpkin Hill. Part of the reason why I wanted to play this game, again, if you dislike this game, it's totally fine in my opinion. Like, I just, I just want there to be a space where people can agree to disagree and, like, let people dislike the game if they dislike it, but let people like the game if they like it. Because, like, for me... I enjoy Knuckles' levels, so I have no issue really with that aspect of the game. So for me, the game was not just 33% good, it was like widely good. I liked Tails and Eggman's levels for that matter too. It gave me what I wanted out of a Sonic game, right? It gave me multiple characters to play as, it gave me a reason to play as these characters when it comes to the story mode, for example. Yes, there's a story in a Sonic game, how about that? Um, and, and stuff like that. But at the same time, if you didn't like it, it wasn't your cup of tea, I think that's totally fine. You're free to have a conversation about it in the comment section down below, actually. You're welcome here, just as much as people that like the game are welcomed here. As is everybody that is watching this for whatever reason. Thank you for watching this. I appreciate it. Um, so there is that. I don't know how well I'm going to be heard with, with all this, so thank you for putting up with this, too. This won't be, a, like, a norm thing, unless, of course, you guys really like that. Um, but with that being said, that's probably going to be all for this video. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as well. And hopefully, you'll have a very safe and good Halloween.
or if you're not celebrating Halloween, just a safe and good evening in general. So there's that too. So I don't know which video will be next. We're just going to have to wait and see. So until this time, take care and enjoy pizza responsibly.